Okay, uh, so welcome to this new uh, section of our class. So starting from this week, we all learned that how we can use relational database to store the data and also to organize the data and also to analyze the data. Um, so uh, in this section, we have three uh, weeks. So this week, we are talking about the basics of the HTML. And that is uh, basic components of all the websites that displays information. And next week, uh, so the, the website displays information. Next week, we are going to extract those uh, information into our database. Okay, by using Python. Okay, so the, um, and after that, we are going to visualize and also analyze the information from database uh, by using uh, different tools. So the tool that we're going to use is called QuickSight. So you will receive an invitation to that uh, website that is based that is from AWS, and that is pretty cool um, business intelligence analytic tools, so BI tools. Um, we will also introduce the other type of the data containers or data storage, like data lake. Uh, data warehouse uh, during that week. Okay, so web crawler. So why do we need to use web crawler? So we want to gather information. So the information might be behind a database. So uh, um, so there might be multiple databases, and some companies or some institutions will publish their data into their web page. Okay, so they will load information from their web page. Okay, and those websites will be public tours. And next, we can crawl those information from those web page so we can collect those data into our own database. Okay, so it is a way that we can gather information that by using a web crawler. So that is where we are using web crawler. So web crawler is a process that we collect data from the different websites, okay, by using a spider or spider bot. So most, uh, so you can design a spider or spider bot by using the different um, program or different tools. Uh, in our class, we are going to learn to use Python. Um, so we can use Python as an internet bot or spider bot that can automatically um, uh, crawl the data from any websites, from uh, web pages. And the web pages are made up of the World Wide Web. And those documents are written in HTML. So that is also the reason that we are going to learn the HTML um, in this class. Uh, so that we are trying to collect the unorganized information into our organized relational database so that we can, can help us to um, analyze and also uh, visualize the data more efficiently. Okay, and the reason that we want to understand HTML is because all the web pages right now are written in HTML, so that is hypertext. Uh, markup language and we can see those information that in um, very nice web pages is because our browser so like uh, Firefox Chrome etc that they can render those HTML code into very nice uh, web pages so that those browser can render those very nice information um, in a way that our human eyes can understand easily Okay, uh, so before you um, go to the uh, start crawling, crawling any website, uh, you should to read the robots.txt file first. For any website, you, you're going to collect information. So um, you have to make sure that that specific website does allow you to to crawl the web cross information by using a robot or by using a crawler. Okay, 
Uh, so if a website does not allow you to do that, not, and then and then you should not to use Python or should you, you should use any other tool to crawl the data automatically. So uh, I guess you can still copy and paste uh, manually to your uh, database, although that is very, very low efficiency. However, if they did mention that you cannot do that by uh, specifying that requirement or that statement in the robots.txt file, then you should not do that. Okay, so normally, so if you go to the website and also you the website domain slash robots.txt, remember robots.txt, so you will see that robots.txt file. So if you saw that, um, so normally I would always check this file first um, before I crawl any information. Okay, uh, so here we can see I just opened several uh, websites. Indeed is where we can collect the job information. Congress, um, uh, so that is from the US Congress uh, website. So that has some public information from the Congress. And Twitter is uh, one of the most popular social media. And also our GME website. So those are the websites that contain some information. So for example, if we are interested in those information and if we want to crawl those information. So the first step is always go to the website uh, in the uh, address um, bar and type roberts.txt. So that is the txt file. And next, you will see that whether or not they allow you to do that. So here, for example, if you look at GMU, we see okay, four any user agent, you should not collect information from those um, folders or from those uh, catalogs, like um, admitted students, you, you should not uh, crawl those information without additional permission from GMU. And also you can check other uh, information that are not allowed to crawl to crawl by using any robots. So for example, the catalogs, okay, the catalog content should not be indexed. Uh, if we check uh, Twitter, so let's say robots.txt, and you can see that for Google Engine, uh, you are allowed to crawl those information. Okay, so for example, all the Twitter.com and also um, behind hashtags, the search for specific queries, etc. However, you are not allowed to index information that in the real time or that is search for specific users. So that is not allowed. And also for the Yahoo starting uh, search engine, so they have their specific instructions. Okay. Uh, so the way that we saw the, the web pages are um, are ranked, actually Google has its own robot, so they are crawling all their web pages, and their robot will read those information first, and they will follow those instructions that are provided here. Uh, if you look at the Congress, uh, you can see this one is pretty open, so that for any user agent, uh, you should have a crawl delay of two. Um, and also for Google specifically, you cannot uh, crawl this search uh, cat catalog. Okay, uh, so you, if you're ever wondering that what does slash search slash mean, so if you tap uh, that one after their domain, so search and hit enter, Okay, so that means everything that on this page should not be crawled by Google. Okay, um, so that based on their robots.txt. And if you go to Indeed, so Indeed is a web, the, the website that we're going to crawl uh, for this uh, lab. So you can see for uh, any agent, you are allowed to, to crawl any information that after the root um, catalog so that after everything that 
after this slash single slash. Uh, however, you are not allowed to crawl any information like for um, uh, communities, formulas, conventions, etc.